Hey everybody, John with Gun and Surplus. I wanted to show you guys our 556 stripper clips. We stock the IOT. It's the exact same ones as the old GGG ones. They have the same assembly number. The only difference would be the A designation at the end. We usually always have these in stock. They're uh, mil spec stripper clips. They're not seconds or factory rejects. And these will work with both 556 or 223 rounds. You see the sides are the same, brass is the same. On new stripper clips, the tabs will last about three to four times usually before they break off. And here's an older GG clip. It's probably been used at least once. Maybe twice. Kind of bent it too much there. The spoons that we stock are also IOT. They have the same assembly number as the older GGG ones. These are also mil spec spoons. They're not factory seconds or rejects. Here's an older GGG one. GGG stands for green, green, and green, and IOT stands for International Ordnance Tech. The only real difference is the stampings are different on each one. So on most magazines, new magazines, you'll see a notch right here, and that's where the spoon slides onto. On the polymer mags, there'll be a small notch right here. This is a P mag right here. I think it's a generation two. And on the metal USGI ones, it just fits down the rib slide right here. It's usually pretty tight too, so it's probably gonna scratch your magazine. So to load these, you just slide a stripper clip onto the spoon. And it takes a bit of force, and you just push the rounds into it. You might wanna, sometimes I'll use it against like a table, if you're at a loading table or something, you just push the magazine up against it. And a lot easier on you and if you need to reload the stripper clip you just push a tab down on one side and slide the rounds on it's pretty easy kind of helps if you twist the round as you go too we'll also be doing a monthly coupon code giveaway so uh, I'll put a link in the video and I'll click on that to enter it if you would, please like the video if it was helpful and comment below if you have any questions.